and we're live <laughs> we're very live in fact welcome to another simply diag.net welcome to another day in bright and sunny chair it's about seven o'clock at night and i've just had this audi tt dropped off to me so let me show you the custom audi tt two litre uh, CESA engine you can see it there um, customer complaint is it's been parked up for over a year then uh, he's taken it out of uh, he's taken it away from from the house driven it down the road and all of a sudden it started misbehaving and uh, let's show you what's going on with it it's an absolute pig to start but once it's once it started I'm told it actually uh, it idles really really poorly and then when it's actually on the road it, it actually drives quite well so we'll just try and start it hopefully you can hear it don't know whether you got that But it will not. It will not idle. So basically, the garage that's that's had a look at it, um, they found air leaks on it. They found a massive air leak um, from the PCB valve, and also a massive air leak from the intake manifold gasket down there. They've repaired both of those, and what they've done, they've drained the old fuel out. And the oil that was in it was actually below minimum and old, so they've changed they've changed the oil on it as well, and they brought it to me. Now I had a quick look at this the other day, and I mean a, a very very quick look, um, just to verify that they had no more air leaks. I just smoked it very very quickly. You'll notice this engine variant does not have a mass, does not have a mass airflow meter. It gets all its uh, all its load information. From the map sensor here so it's quite uh, quite a different variation this so what i've actually done i've just put vcds on it and i've scanned 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 it with vcds very very quickly there was no codes in this whatsoever the other day and already now they've just done literally a very very short drive to my my house and already we've got purge control valve intermittent fault for open circuit we've got map sensor signal high intermittent what you see there no rpm and nothing like that so maybe somebody's unplugged that idle control rpm lower than expected and then the kicker Oh dear, 00022, P0016, G40, G28, incorrect correlation. And that was logged at 1100 RPM. So, we've got this to look forward to. Sometime tomorrow, we'll get stuck on it. We'll do a bit of in cylinder, we'll do a cam crank. We'll have a little, we'll, and we'll have a, we'll have a little look at this. So I hope very much you'll uh, make sure you've got your notifications enabled and all that. And we'll see you tomorrow and we'll have a little bit of an investigation on that. And hopefully as well, hopefully the Mazda, the Mazda's had its software update. And the Mazda should be coming back to me tomorrow as well. So hopefully we've got, weather permitting, we've got two, um, two good live streams for you tomorrow. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> More shaky sound. More shaky video and more laughing. So hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to leave us a, a, a like, a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section below. Apparently it's SSP 606 is the relevant SSP if you want to have a read up on this engine before tomorrow. So thanks for watching. You're awesome.